Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. This video will be about one of my templates. It is a painful topic. It is about Universal NG4. Uh, I created one template. I know that it is not perfect for every business, but I found it interesting and would like to share with you. You can find this dashboard on my template store. Let's just observe what do we have here. It's one page dashboard. Mm, we have title like period of time. Um, we have users, new users, transactions, revenue, conversion rate, and average revenue. Mm, this is last month data. So here is May. So this is April data. And then we have trends by quarters. Um, we can, so users, new users, transactions, revenue, same metrics, but in separate chart for each metric. And we have details table. Um, what we can, when you see this icon and this errors, it means that you can switch from quarters to month, for example, um, or even days. So you can do it with every metrics. And you can see, you can remove user predict or opposite, just keep predictions line. Um, sounds interesting. What do you think? I think it's a really interesting dashboard. Uh, in details, you can see month by month data from December 2022 till to, 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 to May, we have real data. And from June, we have predictions. Oh, no, sorry. From July, we have predictions. From July, we have predictions. You can see it by decimals. So we have 78.33 users. So it is impossible in Google Analytics. So you can understand this is predictions. And you can see that number of users is growing. Sessions are growing. So our business, we have a good trend for our e-commerce uh, yeah, e store. Um, but revenue is going... No, revenue is going up as well. So... How did I create it? Actually, this is, I think, much easier than you thought. I connected this data to Google Sheets. I connected this dashboard to Google Sheets. Let's open this Google Sheets and check what we have here. Dun, dun, dun. Here we have a lot of tabs. And uh, yeah, dashboard is looks looks really easy. But in fact, we have some calculations behind. We have help tab here, uh, where you can see uh, some instructions how to use this dashboard. Pay attention for yellow cells, because yellow cells is something that you have to change. For example, on the help tab, you can see forecast for how many months you want to do. Uh, you can set up minimum data in universal analytics. Um, maximum data for universal analytics and for GA4 minimum and maximum dates uh, because I understand that with this transition from universal to GA4 we have like some data from universal analytics some data for GA4 and it is not perfect to compare this data actually uh, because they're, the way how Google count sessions, users uh, a bit different, so data will never match. So if you have all data in J4, I really recommend you use only J4 data. If you don't have enough data from J4, use this from the date, from the month when you started to collect your J4 data and um, use minimum universal analytics data. So it's my recommendation. Uh, use G4 from, we can set up from which date we should switch from universal to G4. 
for. So I really recommend you to set up this date from the most closest to minimum G4 date. And then we have two types where we sh you should change data. Um, from default one, from the my random data to your real project. How can we do it? For those, uh, for this, I use uh, two connectors. I use Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics 3 connectors to look uh, to Google Sheets. Um, I did some screenshots for you, for those who will buy my template. And you can see um, two connectors that I recommend you to install. This is Google Analytics and GE4 Magic Reports. So install these connectors, log in there, and you can create um actually it's already set up uh, you need to change property to your property id for g4 property name you can take it from your google analytics start date and uh, end date of the dashboard here change nothing it's already press it up so you install add-ons get add-ons installed here Hey. Uh, install two add-ons from here. This is Google Analytics and this G4 migra Migrator. Mm, yes. Yeah. So set up to this. <coughs> install to this add-ons. Login and change yellow cells. Don't change this one. It's already pressed it up and it will work. So this is for G4. For Universal Analytics, same stuff. You just need to copy your real view ID, start date, and end date. This is pressed it up. And when you update this data for your real data, you will go to add-ons, Google Analytics, and run reports. Don't create new one, just run. When you do it first time, for the first time, I think you have to do authorization, as I remember. But it is easy. You just open the window. Uh, you will have some pop-up where you agree to provide data to Google. It's nothing. It's just regular authorization stuff. So when you set up this and you run reports, uh, data will pull here so for g4 it will pull by in this format from universal analytics it will be pulled in this format so i cannot use this data in looker studio directly so i update it i create a support table where i merge data i use i join data from two systems mm, and uh, just updated for the format that we can use in Looker Studio. And the final tab, Looker Studio by day, I use sessions. This data is from Google Analytics. Uh, depend on the configuration you set up here, use G4 from which date. It will update this tab and will take data from different columns, different tables based on that settings. And we have session prediction. Session prediction. Oh my god! Uh, sessions predictions. Uh, this is forecast Google Sheets formula. That is it. I just use my real data from Google Analytics and make forecast. Just using forecast Google Sheets formula. That is it. And this is how I make a prediction based on G4 and Universal Analytics data. I think this is super interesting because we have two interesting moments. We have forecasts, we have predictions, and we merge data from Universal Analytics and G4. I think these two features are really worth it and really interesting to use, and I think it's nice to use in your real work. I think that is it about this template. Look, so a lot of formulas, a lot of um, <laughs> calculations, and we have just one page. Nice dashboard. Super nice. I really like this stuff.
Hope you too. Let me know if you have questions about this template. Hope you like it and will buy it <laughs> to support me and to use this template for your life, for your project. That is it for today. See you soon and bye-bye.